Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Now, guys, we're back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, we gonna play with some simulation, like fluid simulation. Then we go uh, like this one. So, man, if I create this uh, simulation with X, uh, sorry, real flow. So, but by mistake, I just uh, add on my thumbnail that you can't choose any plugin in this video so many people complain down there you can you use real flow how to go with this so i hope i have a simple same same file before okay let me open it tutorial and maybe something there So, okay, here we go. So, uh, as you can see here, we have simple scene. It's not about anything. It's just about creating. Uh, let me just change it. What? Quick sharing for watching what's going on. So, so. We have this mesh. Uh, this is created with X particle. We try to create same like this inside this in my body without using X part. Uh, sorry, real flow or anything else. So let's start. So for that, we create a new file. We we'll just take our can here and copy it and we'll just paste it there. So as you can see here, we remove all the materials for watching what's going on. So for creating starting our subject, uh, we need first we need a shape of sublime. Uh, shape of sublime. Uh, so we use helix for our liquid flow or fluid flow in that way. So so what we can do, just make it a little bit bigger. Go back to helix and a little bit at the height. So that's it. So next thing we need to add a uh, we need to add a particle emitter. So here we go. So it's only work inside this and my 4 r one. Make sure you have an 4 r one because we gonna use our new features so we just take our emitter on the starting edge of our supply just like that so we just position it the same like there we go so next thing the main thing we need to do here so we can use our new update inside this anma 4 d field for for that so what we can do here go in field force and in object tab just uh, drag and drop your helix or supplying object inside it so as you can see here when we hit play now so nothing happened so what we're gonna do here we first increase our frames and we change the velocity type from uh, add to velocity to change direction so now as you can see here if we hit play so it follow along our supply this is the main thing so how we can do that so next thing we just do some emitter settings so we just increase uh, birth rate editor is okay 10 10 10 we just increase the stop emission frame so we just add 600 and lifetime is okay and speed we add 500 speed so as you can see here, so it's follow your supply. So next thing, okay, here we go. Next thing, what we need to do, go back to your field force, click on your supply, and go in object. Uh, sorry, remapping, and change it from mean to hundred percent. And now if we hit play. So uh, it's give you more random look and we need to increase more speed I think so I add a 600 
so here we go so we have a simple shape so next thing we can use for give them randomness we add a random field so as you can see here but it's too much we just change the opacity okay so next we duplicate uh, we go in your field force and just duplicate your helix so like that hold control and take it down and the first one just click on the first one and go in layer and change the distance move from along to radius so now if you hit play as you can see here it's gonna stuck so what we can do just decrease the opacity of first one so, as you can see here now it's give you more uh, control on your uh, particles through your supply so next thing we just increase it a little bit more look at that so great so next thing how we can convert this particle into mesh so here we use our uh, volume measure so we just add a volume builder and put your emitter inside the volume builder so as you can see here uh, there is a small what we say balls going there so how we can uh, connect them so we just first decrease our voxel size from two to three now here we go and now we just take down our all scene like just like all without selecting our volume take it little bit small and if we hit play now as you can see here but it's too small a little bit big maybe small so as you can see here we have mesh on our particles so but it's not look really good so what we can do next we just add stf smooth here so as you can see it look like something like uh, but let me tell you first you don't create really perfect uh, simulation uh, like real flow because real flow is a proper plugin or software specially created for uh, fluid simulation so I'm just giving you idea how you can use that you can use in many ways so let's add a random field so it's looking really bad so let's see we just turn off our helix So you can increase more speed or decrease speed here five and five thousand so let's see what happened five oh my god we just add 150 so something going on but it's not looking good so we go back in our volume uh, sorry for heat for and Enable it so, so as you can see here, something going on. So let's add some uh, another force field. So we're gonna use turbulence, and if we hit play, so it's stuck there. So in fall of we use our random field I think so let's see what happened so nothing happened so we just add we just run able the random field for now so if we hit play just turn off our turbulence And now we just add a catch we, we just catch our simulation here so we just add a catch tag it's only you find it only inside the maximum thermal 4dr to one so you can't find it in 
any of the words and so we click on animate zero to okay we just like uh, 300 just click on catch it's take some time or catch your shape it's depend on your voxel size and what we say So after the catch if we hit play now so as you can see here it's our catch simulation but it's just for still rendering it's not working well with animation I think because it's too shaky so you can ch uh, do any ch some changing so I'm just giving you idea how you can do that so we just add a volume builder so volume measure so here we have something like okay, you can do like that so here we go so let's try and render it so we just convert it into mesh copy and paste in our this scene and make it little bigger because now we have a proper mesh so here we go so we just apply a water material and if we hit render so let's see how it looks like so let's take little time So, uh, it's not look like as good as a real flow one, but I just giving a simple example. So, how you can use, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, your ammeter as your, what do you say, fluid simulator. So, if we add a bump here, so you can add bump. A noise and make it a little bit more. We just disable our global illumination for now. So if we hit render, so it's too much. We just make it a little smaller. So here we go. You can so here we go. So that's how you can get these shapes. So next thing we have uh, next we have what we have. So next one is our. how we can get it so so it's really simple and straightforward so first we create a new sphere and we add a matrix uh, from MoGraph so here we have matrix so make sure you, it's only work inside this Anima 4D R21 it's also work only with R21 so in matrix change mode from bit, uh, grid array sorry for the grid array to object Sorry. and use your sphere as your object just increase a segment from 16 to 50 and hide your sphere 
and go back to matrix and add generator a change generator from matrices only to uh, thinking particle so as you can see here now you see there small dots so next thing go in simulation tab and thinking particle and thinking particle settings take this all to tp group so now we add more count like uh, 9000 I say 900 9000 so we just hide our matrices for now so now as you can see here we have particle along our sphere so uh, uh, as like you can use any 3d object like I'm using sphere here you can use anything so you get really good option to convert your geometry 3d geometry into particle so next we increase a more count from 9000 to 20,000 yeah that's looking great so next thing we just create a null object and add an expresso on the expresso tag so there we go so here we have our expresso tag so we need to add there two things one p pass and other p force object so connect it with p force object now go back to simulation tab thinking particle tp settings and take this all and <coughs> drag and drop in the group parameters so right, here we go now go back to simulation tab and go in forces and add a field force so take your field force Oh, sorry we don't gonna use field force so we gonna use a gravity field and a turbulence so we just duplicate it by holding control and we just drag our turbulence and gravity on each tab so as you can see here we also connect this with our keypad now what what's happen if you hit play so as you can see here uh, we have a gravity that's why your particle going down but we need to make it more uh, interesting so what we can do here we just change the color of our doors it looks too edgy okay that's it looking good for me so what we can do we can use a field forces uh, follow with our field so we just use random linear field okay we start with a linear field we animate our linear field so how we can do that we just change the length like this and rotate it make it a little bit bigger increase the size of our linear field go in coordinates like that so just add a keyframe and add one more keyframe to our linear field from like that to this so now we have animated field so if you would play as you can see here but as you can see it's look like something melting down so how we can fix it we just increase the gravity so we just change it from 250 to 2500 so now if we hit play so as you can see here you can add more gravity so I just change it to 5500 so let's see okay so it's look great so next thing we just have a turbulence we just add turbulence set trend from 5 to 500 so make it more okay it's not look that great so we just add a 50 <coughs> sorry so 
we add a randomness little bit go in your gravity and add a random field so if we hit play so that's look great so how we can fix that we just create one more linear field and take it so I'll wait for that in random field click on field direction <coughs> 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 So we just turn off the random field for now. So we also use a field force for that. Force add a field force, open expresso, duplicate it and add your field and in field same to the uh, add a linear field <coughs> so in object just add a random field so let's hit play so and random field add velocity from 50 500 So as you can see here so how we can do that so we change from 500 to 250 to make it more so that's how you can do this so for render our particle so what we can do here we just go in simulation add a tp geometry right click on that and add a render tag sorry go in here tags and you can find here a render so if you hit play so you see your particle but it's not look too convincing so what we can do we add more uh, count so just change from 2 to 9 90,000 particles so if we now it's look more now we create a new material here material where is hair material materials go in new hair material and apply on our tp geometry if we hit render that look great now we change the color of our particle from like dusty look okay okay we add more thickness like one two and one so if we hit render as you can see here this look more good and when you add light on that so it give you more great look so we add a spotlight uh, yeah one like that and turn on the shadows shadow map and make it a little bit bigger it's rendered so as you can see here you have a good looking particle and add a visibility to your light visibility and if you hit render so it's visible but it's too far from us and now here you can see a little bit light on it so we just add a noise on our light so if we hit render so that's looking great now what we can do here go in general and change the light color from to a yellowish so that's looking great so now if you hit play So, okay, we need to add one more light here. Four. One more light. 
right and add a turn on the shadow map uh, that's it I'm not really good so, uh, shadow mapping mm, random field go back in the field make it a little bit more noisy so, we can just hit play So let's add more particles. Matrices we change to a one million ten thousand one more. So as you can see here, we have more particles. So change the particle color in light. Make it yellowish. Open your hair material. Just turn off this back clarity and here we go that's looking great so this is a basic uh, idea how you can uh, get this so I make this same like uh, with same but there is too many particles it's too much particle that's why it's look really And just change the color to So 